What's up everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Kyler Holland and today I'm giving you a free preset pack. Yes, it is free. And if you want more free stuff in the future, just click that like button now and let me know down in the comments that you want more free stuff and I'll work on it. I promise because free stuff is awesome. Now you can pay what you want if you wanna help support the channel, but it's not necessary at all. Just click the link in the description down below to download the preset right away. But we're gonna show you what this preset can do right now. I mean, that was pretty cool. If it wasn't, then I didn't make it. But we're gonna learn that today and I'm gonna start by showing you how to actually import the preset and how to use the preset pack. Then later on in the video, or you can use the timestamp somewhere around here to show you how to create this effect for yourself. So if you wanna create your own presets or if you wanna add on to my presets, go for it. Also, if you want to create presets in the future and sell them online in an online store, you can use the link in my description to get 20% off SellFi. So do that or don't do it. I'm still gonna do me. Damn it, that was bad. So yeah, click the link in the description down below and this will bring you to my page where you can read all about the effect and simply click add to cart. Now, if you wanna help support the channel, you can enter your price and click add to cart. I'll also be running a little sale if you wanna pick the ultimate effects pack up. Once you download your preset pack, all you have to do is navigate to Premiere and right click on presets and select import presets. And then once you do that, head to wherever you downloaded your preset you may have to extract it because it's a compressed zip file and then just click open. As soon as you click open, click the down arrow on presets, go to Kyler Holland presets, go to transitions, and then go down to stutter glitch. Now there's gonna be 10 here because the one we make at the end of this video is going to be this effect. But let me show you how easy this is. So I'm just gonna delete everything I made on that intro sequence and mute this audio. So I created these effects on an adjustment layer that is 20 seconds long, but all of these effects will scale. So all you have to do is create a new adjustment layer by selecting the new item button, head down to adjustment layer, make sure it's your composition size and drag that into your timeline. Since these are scaling effects, if I drag, any of these stutter effects, you'll see that it spans the entire length, as well as if I decrease the length of my adjustment layer, I can simply drag on that same thing and it will span the entire length of the effect. So how do you use it? Well, all you have to do is drag an adjustment layer on like a transition point or somewhere where you want this effect to happen and simply go through here and drag on a stutter glitch effect. And then as soon as you do that, it will already apply the effect. Now here's the fun thing. You can actually click on your adjustment layer and modify any of the properties within here because you can add noise if you want. For example, that will uh, add some noise to your effect, which is kind of cool, but play around with it because you never know what you're gonna get. And you can also stack effects. So if you wanna drag a couple of these stutter glitch effects on top of each other, you're going to definitely get an interesting look. Now, with that said, you can just go through your entire project and drag on different stutter glitch effects to really get a unique look. If you want to click on your adjustment layer and create a mask, let's say a square mask that just runs horizontal across the entire image, you can do that by creating a mask under opacity. And then when you play it back, it's only gonna affect that portion of the image. So for example, I could technically have this mask on my girlfriend's eye. So that's pretty much it. Remember, these things can stack. So you can add as many as you want on here. Now, sometimes you may run into a need GPU acceleration stuff, but typically these should be fine. If you do, just hit me up on Instagram at Kyler Holland and I'll be able to help you out. Now that we got how to use the effect out of the way, let's actually show you how to make this effect. So I'm gonna use this right here and just create a new adjustment layer and span it however long I want. And then all you have to do is actually head to the effects tab and type on VR digital glitch. 
drag that onto your adjustment layer, and you're immediately going to be greeted with a ton of stuff. So click the down arrow on distortion and click the down arrow on noise, as well as transform and sub settings, because you never know what you're going to want to use. For starters, just start dragging things around and seeing what it does. So if I drag the color distortion to the right and left, you'll see that it actually adds an RGB effect, which is kind of cool. So we can play around with that. Master amplitude is going to basically be the one thing that we're going to mess with. Drag that all the way to 100% so we can see what everything else does. Now you can change the geometry distortion X to the right and left. Let's drag that all to the left and let's change the Y all the way to the right. Okay, so that does that. And let's do Z. Cool. So they all do something different. Now, if you drag them all up, you'll get an interesting look. But sometimes you can change the complexity. So if you want it to be not too complex, like blocky, change the complexity towards zero or 10. And if you want it more complex, you can drag it all the way up to 100. So let's drag this one up to 100 and play around with some other effects. Distortion rate will actually increase the amount of distortion. So that already looks pretty cool. But let's say let's mess around with this scale under transform. If I drag the x scale all the way to 100%, and my Y scale to 0%, that's gonna scrunch this down, and let's play with this Z scale by dragging it all the way to the right. Now that's getting us this really trippy, uh, almost horizontal lines. You can play around with your translates and your sub influence. Sub influence is kinda cool because it creates this effect right here. So let's do something where we mess around with the sub influence and the master amplitude. So all you have to do is go to the beginning, add a keyframe under master amplitude once you get all your settings the way you want and under sub influence, because if we drag that up and change subscaling, that will just change the scaling of that. So we might as well add a keyframe there too. So typically what I'll do is I'll use the right arrow key at this point, go a couple frames, and I kid you not, I will literally just drag these things around randomly until I get something that looks cool because you it, it's really no rhyme or reason because we're going to come back in here later and adjust things. Keep in mind, master amplitude will actually add or take away your effect. So play around with those settings. And if you want to get a finite adjustment, you can hold shift and that'll jump by 10 every time. And you can hold control and that will go a little bit slower. Nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through here and then right away, let's just play this back. So that's already something really trippy. Now you can actually get um, different effects if you highlight all your keyframes and type or click hold and do that on all of yours, that will become a little bit more snappy instead of instead of a smooth transition. So yeah, that's already getting some really cool glitch effects. And now here's the fun part. You can actually just copy all your effects that you've created and then adjust your amplitude around the place and copy a bunch of more keyframes until you get that to fill out the entire area. And then we can repeat the process down here. Or you can hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac to just kind of copy these all over the place. Now there is no rhyme or reason to this. And now we have this. I mean, it looks awesome. It's pretty cool. We made that in about a minute. So play around because you never know what you'll be able to make. And finally, since this is going to be an offset version, type in the effect offset and drag on the offset effect here. Now we're gonna go down here where we see offset and click that down arrow. Click the toggle animation button next to shift center and go a couple frames and just move this around all over the place, however you want. You really don't need to adjust it that much, but you can move it all over. I'm just hitting the right arrow key and then moving this around till I feel happy. Sometimes you reset it. But don't stray too far from the center because if you do, then it's going to be all over the place. But you can. So let's see what that looks like if I stray too far. Yeah, I mean, it looks kind of cool. So just have fun with it. Like that's ultimately how I create effects. I just move keyframes around until I get something that I like. And then I'm boom, done. And then I'm just going to copy all of these keyframes and then just keep copying them until I fill out that entire adjustment layer. So now we have this. Look at that offset, it's pulling the image around and it's just glitching all over the place and it looks really, really cool. So now in order to save this as a preset, now click both of your effects while holding control because that will highlight both of them. Right click, save preset and name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it 10 stutter glitch offset. And then, and I'm gonna click okay. 
and I'm going to add this to my stutter glitch folder right here. So I just have to click and drag that down. And as you see, you have the 10 stutter glitch offset. So when you download the preset, you'll actually get all of these. And remember to play around and stack them because when you drag that new one on to that layer, we'll get that crazy effect going on right there. Well, that's all I have time for for today. But before you go, please click that like button as it seriously helps out the channel if you haven't already. And then type free in the comment, more free stuff in the comments because YouTube's algorithm would hopefully recommend my stuff because I'm almost at 225,000 subscribers. And that's mind blowing. I feel like I gotta do something for a quarter of a million, but we'll see. That's it, I'm done. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.